guys so welcome back to my channel Little Life Guru and this has been a much requested video so I'm sorry it's taking me some time to finally get around to doing it. Um, a lot of you requested for me to do um, a video on what I eat in a regular day on the attack phase and so I finally put one together. Um, it is just one day and I have lots of other ideas and suggestions so I'm very happy to put those in another video if you think that's something that you would like so please just comment and let me know. So breakfast, the most important meal of the day and I still have exactly the same breakfast as I did when I was on the attack phase and that is low fat yogurt with oat bran and that's it. And um, you want to be looking for low-fat yogurt, I'd suggest go for one with a flavour. This is a British brand, it's really great, they do quite a few different flavours. Um, it stops you from adding honey and sugar and other stuff that's just going to kind of jeopardise your, your diet and your weight loss. And the lovely oat bran, which on its own tastes like sawdust. <laughs> but um, you should be able to get this from any like large grocery store or supermarket. Um, this is crucial to the attack phase, it's the only carbohydrates that you'll be having and it's what um, helps your intestines work and it stops you from getting constipated so it's really important. I actually take mine and put it in a kilner jar when I go to work some mornings if I'm running late. Do not skip breakfast. Um, if you do that it will jeopardise the rest of the day. It's really key. Okay it gets a little bit hard maybe on the drive into work but it's still fine um, and it will keep you full right up until lunch. So providing you eat them, eggs will be your best friends on this diet and particularly during the attack phase. I think one of my favourite quotes from my attack video um, was that I felt like I was turning into an egg at one point. But yeah, so eggs are key and I ate them loads during my attack phase for my lunch and my breakfast. Um, and for this particular lunch I made an omelette with its three eggs and I'm just showing you here it's a British brand of smoked salmon which I just got from my local uh, supermarket and I used um, low calorie fry light um, olive oil um, about I'd say six or seven sprays in the pan otherwise you'll end up wrecking your pans however non-stick they are um, and just whisking up the eggs not adding any milk um, you can use pepper for flavoring but don't add any salt you're trying to avoid salt during the attack phase and this is what it looks like afterwards it's really filling the smoked salmon gives it loads of flavor and that's what you need lots of flavor in your meals because you're going to be really feeling like you're um, missing out on all these other foods you're so used to having readily available to you so for dinner, um, again more eggs, uh, this time tuna steak and with some nice pepper on top. Again I would have cooked that in a pan with some of that low calorie um, spray um, and eggs on the side. Other things that I also often had was uh, tzatziki which you can have which is a tiny bit of uh, cucumber in it and it has garlic and again low fat yogurt which is great and that really adds some flavour to your meal and of course lots of water. Water again is your other best friend. One thing I noticed in the attack phase is that I really craved sweet things, which I'm not really someone that normally does. Uh, so it was kind of like I was going through this detox at the time. Um, and one of the things that you can have as a sweet thing is jelly or jello, as you guys call it in the US. Um, and this particular brand is, is pretty low um, in calories. It's a British brand and it's really, really easy to make. So it's simply a case of finding some containers that um, you want to use. I put them in glasses. These are pretty big, but it's fine because you can munch away on them. It's better than doing them in a big glass um, bowl because it just gets really manky and mushy and stuff. I also did them in plastic cups um, and these set in the fridge and they were great because I just put cling film or cling wrap on top and I took them to work with me because they do keep. Um, I slight, sort of started a bit of a trend at work actually and lots of other people started doing this um, and it meant that if I made up a big batch for the week then I would always have something I could go to at any time in the day when I was craving something sweet and it just gave a bit of variety because it is such a change from your normal diet that um, it's just nice to have something like this as a treat. So it's really simple, you add hot water and some cool water, you mix the um, flavours, you set them in the fridge, usually takes a few hours and then there you go, hey presto. 
So I just put together this little um, chart and it's just really to give you an idea of some of the key things that you're going to be eating during the attack phase. Um, you need to try and make these ingredients as versatile as possible for you. One of my favourite uh, little snacks to have and sometimes for lunch was to have smoked salmon um, and inside it wrapped around it was uh, cream cheese which you can have a low fat cream cheese. I also um, would add some chives that I would cut up and add to this that's not going to have any impact on your your weight loss. Um, pepper and it was delicious. Um, and that was a really yummy snack as well. Um, obviously, I mean, I am pescatarian, so I eat a lot of seafood, so it was great for me. So I had lots of fresh prawns, um, crab sticks, which I think I mentioned in my attack phase video. So do check that out. That They're amazing, because you can kind of eat as many as you want of those, and they're also quite filling. Um, eggs, again, as I said, you know, omelets, um, poached, uh, fried, uh, I tried every single kind of variation of egg. Um, tzatziki, as I mentioned before, that went really nice on the side with when I had fish and other meals. You just have to try and be creative about it. But remember, as I suggest, only do it for a week. So it's only seven days you've got to do this for. And then on the eighth day, you can start introducing more exciting food groups back into your diet. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. It's just one day of many days um, of ideas that I have. And if you'd like to see more um, suggestions of foods and recipes, either from the attack phase or from one of the other phases, then please let me know and I'll do that for you. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day wherever you are in the world. Take care.